12 Liverpool moves that might happen in final week of transfer window. With a week to go until the end of the summer transfer window. There are at least 12 potential deals involving Liverpool that are worth keeping an eye on. The transfer window is set to close at 11 p.m. on August 31. Leaving clubs in the Premier League seven days to complete their business for the campaign ahead. For Liverpool, the focus has primarily been on sales and new contracts, with Jair Dan Shachiri. Marco Grujic and Harry Wilson among those moved on while Fabinho, Allison. Trent Alexander-Arnold and Virgil van Dijk have all extended the deals. While Jurgen Klopp and those on the club's recruitment staff would have preferred to conclude their incomings and outgoings early in the summer, the reality is that this is never possible. In the final week of the transfer window, then, there could still be a lot going on at Kirby. The Fringe Players Liverpool have brought in sizable fees for a number of their squad players so far this summer. With Wilson, 12 million pounds, Grujic, 10.5 million pounds, Shachiri, 9.5 million pounds, and Taiwo Awani, 6.5 million pounds, all adding to future funds. There is potential for more, too, particularly those who find themselves left out of matchday contention due to competition for places. Devok Origi was on the bench at Norwich but then omitted from an 18-man squad against Burnley that included two substitute goalkeepers and was without Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain due to the birth of his child. The Belgian is attracting interest from Crystal Palace, Wolves and West Ham, while clubs in Germany are also touted as suitors. With Ibrahima Kanate in and Virgil van Dijk, Joel Matip and Joe Gomez all back fit. Nat Phillips is yet to be involved this season, with Southampton, Brighton, Burnley and Newcastle all reportedly interested. Meanwhile, Loris Carius is stuck in a familiar situation as his representatives seek a new club. And it is highly likely he leaves either on loan or permanently before the deadline. Reese and Neko Dependable backup players throughout last season It could be a summer of late change for Reese Williams and Neko Williams, whose futures are up in the air. For the centre back, dropping back down to sixth choice, at best.
suggests a loan move would be beneficial this summer, though much would depend on options for Phillips. When it comes to the right back, the likes of Southampton, Leeds, Aston Villa, Burnley, Norwich. Cardiff and Swansea have all been linked over the course of the summer, with Liverpool's asking price set at £10 million. Southampton, Villa and Norwich have effectively ruled themselves out of the running with other deals. While it has been speculated that Williams will instead stay as backup to Alexander-Arnold. But a late twist cannot be ruled out at this stage, with youngster Connor Bradley waiting in the wings. Academy exits Much of Liverpool's business will be in cutting down the numbers at academy level, with Shea Ajo the standout player in this regard. Now 24, Ajo spent the summer training with the under-23s at Kirby. but with two years left on his contract will be sold if possible, and the championship seems the most realistic destination. Others who could be sold are Morgan Boys, Tony Gallagher, Elijah Dixon Bonner and Luis Longstaff. For 19-year-old midfielder Jake Kane a lone move to the Football League could be in the offing. Following longtime teammate Leighton Clarkson, who has joined Blackburn. Still time for an incoming. For much of the summer, it was expected that Liverpool would make two further additions, one in midfield, one in attack. As it stands, Harvey Elliott and Curtis Jones look set to take Jeannie Wijnaldum's place in the squad between them. With the 18-year-old producing an impressive display in his first-ever Premier League start against Burnley. When it comes to the attack, however, there is certainly still scope for another signing, especially if Origi joins Shachiri through the exit. The likes of Harvey Barnes, Pedro Neto, Jonathan David and Ismail Assar have all been linked. But there is a sense that if any player is brought in, it would be more of a surprise in line with Diogo Jota's £45 million switch last summer. The odds remain high, though, that Kanate is the only major signing at Anfield this summer.